Now I've been talking about the Xiaomi Mi A2 for a little bit here lately, going through the various special boot modes for the device. But before we go ahead and set your phone up and install all your applications and all of your settings and get everything the way you want it, you might want to go ahead and unlock the bootloader since that's going to do a factory reset of your phone. So today I want to walk you through the step-by-step -step process of how to unlock the bootloader of the Xiaomi Mi A2. So to start we're going to need to go ahead and connect the Mi A2 to the computer with a USB cable. And then we need to open up the settings application, scroll down to the system option, tap on advanced, and then we're going to go, going to go into developer options. Now if you have not enabled developer mode yet, be sure to check the full tutorial on my website. I'm going to have that linked in the video description so that you can get up to speed with where we are right now. Once you have enabled developer mode, we can go into the developer options menu and we're going to see an option right here labeled OEM unlocking. This is just a security layer to prevent people from unlock unlocking and resetting the phone without knowing the pin pattern or password of your device in case it gets stolen. So we're just going to tap on the OEM unlocking toggle and you're going to see that this dialog box pops up. Now this is just a warning just to let you know that enabling OEM unlocking is going to technically make the device less secure but as long as you know what you're doing then you're gonna be fine just don't install any cracked premium game applications but that's something you should not be doing anyway anyway you always want to install applications from trusted sources like the Google Play Store or even like APK Mirror, APK Pure, places like that. So after we have tapped on the OEM unlocking toggle, we're just gonna go ahead and tap on enable. Now that's going to allow us to actually unlock the device in fast boot mode. So once we have enabled that, we can go ahead and shut down the Xiaomi Mi A2. Wait until the phone's completely shut down and then we're going to boot up into fast boot mode. Again if you're not familiar with how to do this or any of the other steps go to the tutorial on my website as I have that broken down into very very easy to follow step-by-step -step instructions such as how to boot into fast boot mode. And now that we have booted into fast boot mode, then we can bring up our command prompt on our computer and issue an fast boot command. So to continue from here, we're going to need to have ADB and fast boot tools on our computer. I'll have a link to that in the full tutorial of the website. Once you have those downloaded and extracted, we're going to go ahead and open up a command prompt or a Windows PowerShell from within that folder. And if you want, you can type out the command fastboot space devices. Again, while the Xiaomi Mi A2 is connected to the computer via a USB cable just to make sure that fastboot detects a device right there. If you get a response of like no devices de de detected then you have some USB driver issues that you need to look into either specifically for Xiaomi devices 
or just regular Android USB devices in general. However, to actually unlock the device, again, we need to have a command prompt or Windows PowerShell open in the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot tools are in. And we're going to type out the command Fastboot space flashing space unlock. And I'm going to have this command in the full tutorial if you just want to copy and paste it from the website. And now I'm going to turn the attention back to the phone because as soon as we press enter, we're going to see transition on the Mi A2 phone to continue through the bootloader unlock process. So just like I mentioned in the command prompt or Windows PowerShell, we have the fast boot space flashing space unlock command set up. All we're going to do is press enter on the keyboard and then our Xiaomi Mi A2 is going to go into this warning screen. And it's just going to tell you that unlocking the bootloader is going to allow you to install software that cannot be guaranteed. So if you make any changes while the bootloader is unlocked, such as installing a custom recovery or installing a custom ROM or gaining root access and making changes to the system operating system, then you're not going to be able to accept official over the air updates because there's been changes made. However, you are most likely here because you want to unlock the bootloader. You know the risks that are involved of unlocking the bootloader. So from here, we're just going to press the volume down button twice. And that's going to highlight the unlock the bootloader option here. We only have two options to choose from. Don't unlock the bootloader and unlock the bootloader. And naturally, from here we want to lock or unlock the bootloader. And once that option is highlighted, we just need to press the power button to select it. Now you're going to see the phone reboot. And just as I mentioned, unlocking the bootloader is going to erase the device. It's going to do a factory reset so that all of the data that you had on the device is not going to be there anymore. You're going to see an unlocked message down here at the bottom when the bootloader is unlocked. But it's just going to go through the typical boot animation sequence. This is going to take a bit longer than normal since we have just done a factory reset. And that's because Android has to get everything set back up. It's got to prepare the Android activation screen so that you can connect back to your account. and allow you to either restore your data if you backed any of it up. Android has its own backup system so you can restore from a backup from there. Or you can just manually go in and start installing your applications and games that you had installed on there before.
We just want to be patient during this process. I've said it in my previous videos. The reason why I make these videos is sometimes people learn easier through visual aid instead of just reading step-by-step -step instructions. But it also lets you see and follow along with me so that you don't get paranoid paranoid during that long boot up process. You can be told that it's going to take a long time to boot, but depending on how paranoid somebody gets, even just 30 seconds or 45 seconds longer than they initially assumed can make them worried that something went wrong and that they just broke their phone. With these videos, you can see and f follow along and see that it, it will eventually take you to the Android activation screen after you have unlocked the device. Now I'm just going to skim through this part right here and then show you that it will take you right back to the regular Android home screen. So like I said, I just quickly skipped through that activation process. I didn't even connect to Wi-Fi or cell signal. You can see we are back to the stock Xiaomi Mi A2 home screen. We have a couple of not notifications that Gboard, Gboard wants to update our typing experience and we can finish setting up our device such as copying our data, setting wallpaper, and more. But there you have it. That is how to unlock the bootloader of the Xiaomi Mi A2.